Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a diamond painting haul. Uh, yeah, um, I've always diamond painted, um, but this new everybody in the coloring community doing it. And then of course I did my first haul from the Diamond Art Club. And I'm working on my first one from there and I'm absolutely loving it. And of course, life's different for me now. I can actually have a setup, um, which what, that is what I'm currently working on getting together. Um, I don't have room in my current office, um, but we have uh, the gym room that has space. So I'm getting a white folding table and setting that up back there so that I have room because right now I kind of work here a little bit at my desk and then um, on the weekends, I've been baking cookies for the kids for the week um, since they're home from school. And so I sit out at the dining room table, which is nice to be spread out. So got some storage plans, things like that um, coming around. So I, cause right, right now I really just have had all my diamond paintings in um, like um, a plastic storage bin I got from Michael's that has top storage. Like it has a drawer, like a thing that you can pull out and it has like all these little compartments in it and then underneath I keep you know the diamond paintings and then I have another container where I put the finished finished ones because I haven't really done anything with them framed them sealed them anything like that but these new ones that I got especially the Christine Karen ones um once I put one of them together um I'm definitely going to seal it and frame it um and have it in my my coloring room here so um, that's the goal. So enough of the chatter. <laughs> um, so basically, I was I for the hobby lobby. Okay. So I went into Michael's and. I picked up this lockables uh, craft mates and it's, it's I love purple so obviously and it's nice because it has these plastic covers that hold these trays in so you get the tray out um, and then it has this locking mechanism so you have to push the button to open the top um, the ones that I've currently use been using these for a while they're super cheap and I get them on Amazon um, they're just like this and they they come in these um, which I thought was really nice and then I get I think like six six or eight of them in a pack for like eleven dollars or something but the problem with these is sometimes this this lip doesn't want to like stay down like some of them are okay and they're tight like that one's that one's tight I had to push this one no you I mean like I'm just like like you can't do that on these ones but every once in a while you get one like that so and if you drop this you know like that one is gonna come if you dropped it um so that's what I'm a little worried about especially if I'm getting into it more so this solves that and you know you'd have to pop them each open and you have to push the button each time so I like that idea hopefully I don't fling them everywhere um, I also just saw another storage thing for on my desk that I'm definitely gonna have and they involve the tic-tac things so what my plan is that this will be maybe reserved for a kit that might travel or if I have two kits set up at once, I can have one up on the display on my desk and then one in this. So, because, to be honest, I've been working on the first one from Diamond Art Club and I've, we're on, what, today's July 10th. I've been working on it 10 days straight and I don't know if I'll get it done today. Um, and it's the smallest one of the ones I bought. So, I can't, with working and everything else, I can't. I can't take 10 days away from coloring. I have been coloring on my lunch breaks um, a little bit and in the mornings before work, um, but I've really just been working on one page. So, um, and I don't wanna 
I don't want to get behind all that. So, um, I also picked up this uh, mat board. I have this. I'm, I want to try to make myself a diamond painting journal that I made. Um, and I want to do it with leftover drills. So, I picked this up. This is kind of like. I was going to get chipboard, but then I thought, I'll let me try this mat board first. I don't know. It's just an idea. Whether it works or not, we'll see. So I picked that up there. That was at Michael's. Um, I believe I also picked these up at Michael's. Either Michaels or um, Hobby Lobby. I can't remember. But they're washi tapes. So they could be used with the diamond painting. They can be used in my coloring. They can be used in crafts. So they kind of, I just put them in this haul because that's what I did. And then, where was I? That's all Hobby Lobby. The rest, the rest of my haul is going to be my Hobby Lobby haul for diamond painting. Um, so I went in there. Um, I was actually looking for a centerpiece for my dining room table. Um, and they were having 50% off table decor. And I just happened to be, see this as a table decor. So I'm like, ah, that's a diamond. And it's perfect for my junk drills and my glue that I'm working with currently. So, um... It was $5.99 and I got 50% off. So three bucks I paid for it. I thought it was super cute. So that is on my desk now. And then I, for that project, I have a bunch of leftover drills, but I just happened to be in that section. I guess I'll show you this because I wanted to pick up these. So these are, um, these are from Diamond Dots, um, and this is the uh, grid fabric with adhesive. So I bought this just in case these sheets aren't quite the size that I wanted. Um, it has multiple sheets in it, um, four pieces. So I got them to try with that board. And then when I was standing there, they had these Diamond Dots for 49 cents. So I went ahead and picked them up. I got they're two different shades, not the same one. Also got this gray color, this blue color, another pinkish color, and this tan gray. And then full price ones, I bought these because they were glittery and gold. And then these greens were called my name. And um, these white abori, abori, alice, whatever you want to call them. So I picked those all up and then I noted, I was picking up more colors um, of the metallics and then I saw this and I was like, well, let me put some of these back because they were full price and then this one was marked down 324. Um, so you get the metallic rainbow, metallic pewter, metallic silver, metallic classy gold, and platinum. Um, the only one was this one wasn't in it. Um, I think this is dark gold, and then this one's regular gold. So I picked those up. They also had these pastel ones. Um, they're baby pink, forget me not blue, purple ice, pale, chartreuse green, primrose yellow. Um, so I picked those up, and they were $2.49. And then I got these ones because they were $2.49 too. These are normally $10 and they were marked down to $2.49. I was like, I can't even believe that. This has red, dark orange, emerald green, black, and white. Um, a lot more colors than I need for the project. But if it takes off and it's nice, maybe somebody else will want one. So, my mom and sister diamond paid too. So we'll see. Um, and then I just happened to be looking at the diamond paintings and I saw this one reduced to $6.24. I'm not sure how much it normally is priced. I'm not sure. Um, I've never had a Diamond Dots one before. 
Or maybe I did. I don't know what that one is that I have. Maybe it is a Diamond Darts. This is a Vance Expert. Um, the size is um, 18 and a half by 14.6 or 47 by 37. I guess that's how they normally say it. It includes 37 colors. Um, and then I did pull it out. Here's the colors. And you get a standard tray in this one with the um, squeegee and your stuff's in a container and your bags. And I figured I would check it out here quick because so maybe that one I have is like this one. I'll have to look at it. That actually might be a diamond dot, so the one I have, the flower one. Interesting. I couldn't remember, I didn't have the box and nothing, no info for the big one that I did previous. And so I wasn't sure, but I did pick that one up. And then I didn't realize they sold Diamond Art Club at, at Hobby Lobby. So I picked this one up, The Bluebird Song by Chuck Pinson. It's 22 by 28 or 56 by 71. Um, and it's a round diamonds. I check their site out. Normally it's $54.99 um, to get it directly from Diamond Dot or not Diamond, diamond Art Club. Um, and at Hobby Lobby's, it actually was $59.99. Um, it might not have been the first thing I would have picked uh for for it but the reason i did was it was marked down um it, this was on clearance and guys look at that price 14.99 like 40 dollars savings i was like yeah i'm gonna get it <laughs> even if i just do it and pretty much give it away or just do it just to have it to have a hobby um and then there's the card out of it. And it does have the older kit in it. Um, I didn't open everything because, um, you know, I I just wanted to see the other one. That's why I opened it. Um, but yeah, so that's my diamond art haul for the for this month so far. Um, this was all bought in July. So, yeah. Yeah, new, new kind of a obsession so um if you guys have any questions or like to see more let me know thanks take care bye